There was a free Cinco de Mayo celebration at Sandy Downs over the weekend that we went to. Now, was mm-hmm. it was it just Saturday or was it Saturday and Sunday? It's Saturday and Sunday, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we went because you got to go. Right. I just want to take a brief moment and say thank you, Mexican and Latinx community members. Thank you so much for being here because your food is delicious. I know. It's so good. I got a plato. Plata? Plato. Plato. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, it was. It just means plate. <laughs> it was a triple meat sampler of carne asada. Mm-hmm. That's the thin steak. Uh huh. Chorizo. That's the spicy sausage. Oh, I love chorizo. And the chicken. Uh huh. The pollo loco. <laughs> it was so good. So good. And I just got some carnitas and a carne asada taco. Uh, which I love. But you also got the esquites. Oh, yeah. Saying that right? Yeah, we went to Sergio's Delights and we got esquites. <laughs> Are Sorry. you trying to say Sergio? We went to Sergio's Delights. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> we went there, Rio. got the esquites, and I made sure to get myself a second cup for later. You did. <laughs> I did. You got to, you were double yeah. fisting it uh-huh. out of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> well, especially because esquites just feel like summer to me. Yeah. You know, I used to go every single week to the farmer's market just for those. You were disappointed that Sergio's Delights wasn't at the farmer's market. Yes, I was. And then I really, like, I was like, oh, I wonder why he's not here. And then I got to the Cinco de Mayo thing and I was like, oh, that makes uh, more sense. <laughs> God's heavenly light shone down. <laughs> right, right. Ezekiel's um, wheel within a wheel was in the sky. <laughs> All the good stuff. It was a magical moment. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it was super fun. And it's so funny, too, because as we were pulling up, I was like, I wonder if my ex is going to be here. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the jokey joke name for my ex-husband, <laughs> who happens to also be from Mexico. Mm-hmm. Um, he approved the name, so don't come at me. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm like, oh, I wonder if my ex is going to be here. <laughs> and right when we walk in, I kid you not, the first person we saw yep. was him and his friends. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, they were it was hang- nice. They were hanging out by the cool classic cars, some yes. of the souped up cars. <laughs> yeah, that was super fun. I don't know if you saw the souped up bikes there, too. I did not. Yeah. There there were two bicycles that were all souped up and like they had like airbrush and stuff on them. They were really rad. Okay. But yeah, it was super cool. Now I will say, I think that the farmer's market was better if you wanted to do like art and like, um, you know, fun little kitschy stuff like that. But the Cinco de Mayo celebration was so much better for food. Oh yeah. You know, especially like ready made food that you were like prepared to eat there. Yeah, for for food truck food. Yeah. Street fair food. Yeah. Oh, so good. Just amazing. Yeah. And the performances were really neat too. That's right. They mm-hmm. had let's check out a little bit of this mariachi band here for a second. I love mariachi band. <laughs> And it wasn't just Mexican culture either. They included other cultures too. I mean, they did the Star Spangled Banner. Mm -hmm. They had Japanese drummers. Yeah, they also had some Native American performers too. Right. So for Mm -hmm. being a Mexican celebration, is it Independence Day? It's not, is it? It kind of, that's what, it's kind of like that, but not really. It's a victory of a battle over the French. Okay. Yeah. All right. Big day, obviously. And so I was really impressed that they include, it was sort of a multicultural celebration as well. Right. Very cool. And look mm-hmm. who's this good boy. It's Max, <laughs> the dog of Ammon Mayor Sean Coletti. 